This is the Octane. It is the best car in Rocket League. More movies have been made about this Rocket League car than any other Rocket League car in the history of Rocket League. What if I told you that somewhere in the world, there was a guy building a real life Rocket League car? And I'm not talking about a life-size piece of cardboard or some giant Lego structure. No, a real vehicle with a custom frame and body, fully working suspension and an engine. Meet Mega Dookie, or as he's known in real life, Matt, a mechanical engineer and Rocket League player since 2016. Matt reached out to me in the form of an email under the subtitle, An Introduction to Project Octane. If you guys want to know more about Project Octane beyond what we talk about in this video, or if you want to support the project, check out the project's GoFundMe or the project Discord server where Matt shows the progress and how everything's being spent. Or you can also check out Matt's YouTube channel where he posts updates on the car. I've put links in the description below for you guys to check out. It'd be really cool if you guys supported him. Anyways, in this email, Matt referenced the fact that I had said that the Rocket League movie was a pipe dream of mine, and he went on to explain to me that he is currently working on his own pipe dream, in his words, to build a real-life drivable octane. The project sounded incredible to me. I mean, how could you not want to drive a real-life octane? So I needed to find out more. So tell me a little bit about the project itself. Like, what's the scope of the project? Are we talking about something that's gonna feel a little more like a toy, maybe like one of those electric cars that you like ride on, that kids ride on, or is this gonna be like a proper vehicle that you can like jump in and drive? Definitely a little bit more than a kid's car. We wanted the driver to be fully enclosed in the vehicle. So we started by taking them all the octane and just kind of scaling it up until we felt like we could fit someone you know, completely enclosed in it. By the time uh, we did that, we, it was about the size of a Honda Civic. <laughs> um, and if you look at the actual body of the octane where it's not as wide as the uh, the face of the wheels, it's a bit narrower. We save a little space there, but it's, it's certainly pretty large for being a single seater. Um, uh, what I'm wondering is like, are you taking a platform from another car or vehicle or something and building on that? Are you using a different chassis and just like bu building the bodywork for it? Or are you literally building it like the car from the ground up? Definitely not completely from the ground up. Anywhere that we can use existing parts and materials and whatnot, and that's just going to save us money and actually getting this done a lot of time too, because we don't want this to be some something that's drawn on for five years. Like I'd love to get this you know, in times of for worlds, you know, and, and just have a great time. But we are using parts off of two SUVs that you would find, you know, commonly on the road, one being a, a Ford Explorer and the other being a, an Expedition. Uh, they were just vehicles that I happened to already have a little bit of knowledge with and had access to measuring things uh, ahead of time. So it made my life a little bit easier, but we actually went to the junkyard already and pulled parts for both the suspension and the drivetrain for both of those vehicles to be used in the front and rear of ours. And then in terms of the body and the frame, the body we wanted to be as accurate as possible to the game. So that is definitely going to be completely uh, custom. For the frame itself, we have a little bit more flexibility. We, we know what suspension, what drivetrain we're using. We just have to connect the dots, have something to mount everything to, and then we can kind of do whatever we want underneath that body uh, with the rest of the frame. Back when I was in college, actually, I was part of a design team called Formula SAE, where we design, build, and compete a uh, miniature Formula One open wheel race car against other colleges uh, you know, across the country. It, it's something that really gets you really involved. Uh, with motorsports and with you know, engineering and problem solving, as well as you know actual practical manufacturing and, and real results with some. Um, so that was just an absolute blast. And there's a lot of friends I made and a lot of experience that I learned from that. And this is sort of just a, uh, a bigger version of that uh, without some of the headaches that come with designing everything to be as optimally as, as light as possible, you know, being able to use the uh, stock components that we talked about earlier. What about an engine? So like, are you going to use an engine that already well obviously you're not going to like build your own engine from the ground up but uh what kind of engine are you wanting to use and more importantly can i pick different like engine sounds like in rocket league can i make it sound different or or is it going to sound like an octane that's uh, definitely a good question not something i'd consider about the sounds uh the, the motor that we're planning on using um, is a motorcycle engine. Uh, we haven't actually picked one specifically out yet. Uh, luckily, because it's a chain drive between two sprockets, we can sort of delay on that until whenever we actually either have the funding or, the, or then are ready to move forward with that. Um, but from what we know and our expected weight of the Octane, 
uh, if we have an engine of roughly 80 horsepower or more, it'll have the same power to weight ratio as you would with a common commuter car. It's definitely not, you know, a high performance racing machine. This is something that we're definitely going more for aesthetic and experience with, but it's not something that's like a golf cart, you know, it's not a slouch. You get 80, 100 horsepower in there. It'll, it'll still go. Dude, I've got your, I've got your motorcycle engine. Let's do a Ducati uh, V4 engine that produces like 220 horsepower. And then the power to weight ratio will be more like a freaking, I don't know, a Hellcat or something. That would be, if you get your hands on something like that, you know, you're willing to give it to us, then uh, yeah, we'll put it in the car, no problem. That V4 will sound real nice too. There's been a ton of modeling, you know, that's preceded all this that, that I, you know, enjoy modeling, but it, uh, at, at a certain point, you kind of have to, you know, stop and actually start making progress in the real world. Uh, so that's the biggest focus for all of us right now. We've split the frame up into a couple of different segments that have gone to different people to work on. I'm personally working on the round tubes in, in the garage right now, uh, cutting everything to length, wrapping them with paper templates, and then finishing them off with an angle grinder to actually get them to the final profile that the welder can then uh, weld everything together. One of our teammates up in Michigan has all the square tubes under his uh, responsibility and uh, he's been machining uh, a bunch of those that have special features and whatnot built into them uh, to give us some adjustment and to help us mount certain things. From what you've shown like on your channel and stuff, you've already started working on this. You've obviously done a lot of design stuff for it. Where are you at with the car? What's the timeline? I'm also wondering, but also how can people support the project? How can people help with the project so that it can be done, you said by Worlds is, is your goal, or when are you thinking? Worlds was originally my goal. I mean, this project did start uh, before RLCSX had even actually taken place. I still think that we can have a rolling chassis here, that being the frame, the suspension, parts of the drivetrain, no engine. Actually, in the next uh, two months, for sure by three, um, but that would still give us time, a couple months to be able to put uh, a bit of a body together and maybe get it to Worlds just as a uh, not complete version of the of the vehicle, but something that we can at least start to share with, with fans. Uh, and I think that's something that people would enjoy uh, seeing in even the uncompleted state. We definitely want this to be something that, I mean, the community can be involved with from design, help fund and then also enjoy like we want this car to be at any rlcs or general kind of esports function that we can get it to uh, love for people to be able to take pictures with it hop in it uh, potentially even have you know private events where we can actually drive it around the parking lot at a you know kind of controlled speeds and a controlled environment i think that would be just an incredible experience you know i think that a lot of people have a lot of you know passion for this game and it would be something that actually seeing it in real life and actually you know, just getting to, to be around something like that would just be something that a lot of people could look forward to. We had one random donor that gave us five grand a couple of weeks ago and that was absolutely insane. I still have no idea who they are exactly. Um, but you know, a lot of small donations go a long way, whether it's five or 10 bucks, you know, that adds up and that actually can help us purchase you know, parts, materials, whatever we need to actually make this happen. And everything that we do purchase, you know, is tracked in our discord you can see exactly where that money goes to none of it goes towards you know me making a salary or anything everything goes directly towards making the car a reality so that's one route if you know you're not able to donate which you know i'm sure there's plenty of people that are you know don't have their own credit card whether their kids playing the game or just people that you know it's not in their budget and that's completely fine you can support by uh, you know spreading the word uh, subscribing to the, my YouTube, you know, your YouTube here to help, uh, you know, get the information out. Um, you know, if anyone has any questions, you know, you can ask that here in this video and I'll try and get back to you. You can ask things in the discord, whatever you, uh, whatever involvement you, you sort of choose, you know, we can cater towards that. There's something about this game, Rocket League, that causes people to just be so passionate about it. And I think people express their passion for this game in different ways. For me, in my early days when I started playing, I would spend hours and hours not only playing, but like studying and watching videos and watching people stream and trying to just learn how to improve and get better. Now it seems like I more or less just play and play and 
when I should be working, I just choose to play. And yes, even though I haven't been making Rocket League videos, I started playing again like a couple months ago. I did take some time off. And yeah, it was just sort of a reminder how good this game is, like going and playing other games or just like not even really playing video games for a while. Yeah, Rocket League is so good. But then there's people like Matt who they fall in love with Rocket League and then they decide to use their sort of unique and really incredible skills and talent to do something awesome. And that's why I wanted to show you guys this. And I'd really love it if you guys would consider supporting this project, not only because it's really cool and really awesome, but, you know, mainly because I want to go ride in this car. <laughs> And the more support you guys give to this uh, this project, the more likely it is that I get to go ride in it and drive it and drift in it, hopefully, and potentially even get a beach ball and, you know, have a good time with it, if you know what I'm saying. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, links are in the description below if you want to go support the project or learn more, check it out. It feels really good to have made another Rocket League video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Peace out.